what is up mousetrap gang welcome back to another video it is monday morning it's probably like around like 10 o'clock something like that but anyways so man we got the box built it is done completely and we're about to carpet it and yes it is for the white silverado again it's the the obs 2.0 man um some things went wrong on that build and the customer wasn't happy so our main objective when you're doing business with people and like there's money involved and all kinds of stuff it is very important to keep your customer happy and make sure you know um you know everything gets worked out he leaves happy from here on out and um just make sure everything's a thousand percent for him so you know it's stuff that happens you know it's business this and that blah 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 and um we just you know fix the problems fix the issues do what we got to do and make that thing boom again man you feel me so what i'm actually doing right now is we're about to wrap the box in the carpet this time the subs are actually going to be seen with the porch firing up and the subs firing up as well so it's going to make it a real intimidating looking box um you're going to be able to see the real nice sundown um faces of it the porch going to get painted and everything and um a lot more difference in this box versus the other box is this one's going to shake a lot of more stuff um, and it's going to be moving a lot more air because the subs are on the surface versus just a single port. Um, and, and plus, you got ports on top as well. So let's go ahead and wrap this box, and then we're going to get it mounted inside there. Uh, so basically, it's just taking the box out and then just rewiring the amps back in there and just making sure everything's a 1,000% for him so he can just take it and jam it because this weekend there is a truck show, and he needs to be out there because the world needs to see what we got rocking so let's get on it so real real quick before we actually get started we're going to actually just texture the um the the ports just so it, it gets painted real nice so when we carpet it um the top of the the port is textured and everything because we're going to do a nice slick cut So there's the box. Look, it looks a little bit better with the uh, subs firing up in the port right there. Not too bad, not too bad. So that's the front of it. So the face of it, it's not going to have nothing. We're going to actually do the, the amps along the side. And let's show you right now. Panels all, everything stays the same. Just pretty much the box and the amp location. So we got a bare truck. And we're going to go ahead and put that box in here right now. Then we're going to mount it down. Then put the filler panels to the side and then i'm going to probably make the uh the amp rack where it's going to go right here because i am still waiting on wires to get here tonight so tomorrow we put uh wire in there and the mids and highs we're going to rewire them so they can get a little bit more kick out of it and we're going to delete the uh, ds18 horns because those things just like they sound really bad no lie guys don't usa ds18s it's not that good prvs is where it's at we're going to wake these guys up so let me get uh see what else is going on and man we'll continue the video all right so this is the aftermath of today's work your boy's tired i really didn't film like that crazy because i needed a bus but um we got a deadline actually this time around on the truck a real deadline and so he can take the truck tomorrow and if anything else comes up about we still have the rest of the week to take care of it but so right here check it out done done so that is the uh the box right there and i'm probably not going to do a cover plate i'm just probably going to just do the place where we're just going to put the amps at and just be done with it 
and uh, the subs are gonna go across right there I'm actually gonna screw these panels on but from underneath from the inside of the box so it's seamless so there's no screws be seen it looks a lot better but tomorrow I'll actually touch up like all the ports you know everything that needs to get blacked out so it looks like a thousand percent and then we are gonna rewire this whole truck tomorrow not rewire the whole truck just the mids we're gonna really separate the tweeters and the mids and everything from each other to make sure that um, we got good power going through everything my main thing is like I want to be able to throw some power into the mids versus everything together you know what I'm saying so we're just gonna like focus and make sure everything is good my thing is I want to be able to be able to play this truck for like an hour straight without having to worry about oh um the uh the bass is cutting out or the mids and highs playing out like before we even give it to him i'm gonna make sure like that thing is playing for at least like an hour you know straight non-stop at full volume okay so I'm, I'm i'm actually gonna clean up real quick and then i will show you what it looks like with the subs in it we're just gonna set the subs in it just so they're not laying around and then i'm gonna take my thumbnail all right so let me show you guys what it looks like with the uh subs in it bam it probably looks like 10 times better he's gonna be a lot happier versus just seeing the um just a stop port you see subs and all that stuff and you see like we even did that for the subs too we still have to make it look good like i said we still got to touch up the port we got to build the little small plate that we're going to do for the amps right there along the bottom and we can put this one behind us for real for real this time and we're going to adjust all the mids the prvs are going to get adjusted to the fullest we're going to make this thing talk connected the uh took off the fuse just so we don't have no issues uh nothing because he's going to actually take the truck today and he's trying to get it ready motor wise you see like it's on different front wheels and he's got the american racings in the back so um trying to get ready for this truck show this weekend uh tracos tracos trocas y caballos i guess that's what it's called if you guys are in uh the tampa area tampa bay area sarasota whatever man pull up it's a truck show nothing but like drop trucks you know the the truck the drop truck movement was going on yeah this truck is definitely going to be out there regulating this weekend and man i feel bad for anybody that wants to try to pull up on on, on dude because this thing is going to be banging something serious um, man, with that fourth door, it was sounding good, man, but just too many issues with it, and that back window's really taking a beating, but now that back window's gonna even take a bigger beating, but good base, you know what I'm saying? Good base. And them 412s look like, I'm telling you, this truck reminds me of like 90s style, uh, back in the day when they used to do trucks like this, but, you know, it's, it's just what the, the new thing is. He needs to change out to those and put PRV tweeters. We got the EQ with the, um, voltage meter. The 412 uh, sundowns with the slotted port tuned to like 33 hertz so that thing's gonna get deep we got the prv mids with the tweeters i pretty much tested everything to see everything was good when he took it over the weekend and nothing's blown um nothing like i said he you know wasn't too happy with it and you know you got to make your customers happy when it comes down to um product and when it's like their money involved so uh, we got to do what we got to do you know um, learn the lesson, uh, you know, really have a real deal consultation of everything um, so there's no double work. But, I mean, it is what it is. Um, like I said, this is a real deal channel, so we don't hide nothing from nobody. We had to redo the system. He was not happy. And now I feel like he's going to be definitely happy. And it's going to be something to uh, play with because this thing is going to be nasty. Look. Look at those subs. That thing is no joke, guys. But like I said, tomorrow I'm gonna actually finish mounting her and um, mounting the amps, put all the subs in it, and I'll probably take more better detailed just so you can see how to separate these mid and highs and everything. So if you guys ever decide to do um, any of that type of stuff, you know, you learn from this channel. And the other thing too, those Terra amps are kind of like weird to connect. It's like, um, instead of having like four speaker inputs, there's only three. So you either got bridge or you're gonna do series, but it does it series at the amp. You don't even have to do it yourself. So um, I will show you how to wire that up because in the beginning when I started using these amps, you know, I was actually like, what's going on? 
but then after you know I did a little bit of research that's just how those are but anyway so that's it for today uh, man I'm gonna clean up I gotta go pick up these kids from school and I gotta get prepped for tomorrow and man we'll pick it up tomorrow man and let you know what's good tomorrow we will be jamming and I actually will take a lot of video for you guys of this truck flexing like since I didn't do that the last time so now you know since uh, we didn't get a lot of video you know God put us in this position to be able to show you guys again and even more flex so Stay tuned to the channel, subscribe, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.